So I said it would be a while before I do another video on this gun. Uh, and then I realized there's so much more to do than just parts. Um, I took it out of the penetrating fluid. And it did a good job, loosened up a lot of the crap. Uh, and then I noticed the solid layer of rust and mung and stuff. It was all glocked up. So... I keep around a container, about a half gallon container of evaporust, and I've used it before for uh, thoroughly neglected gun parts. And I said, "What? What can I hurt? I don't have anything into this gun. It was given to me. I've got time and about two gallons of gas. So I put the whole thing in the evaporust, and I took it out this morning." And then I went over to the sink and uh, hot water, stainless wire brush. Uh, this one's pretty soft. It's it's a soft welder's brush. And uh, I went over it, and uh, it <laughs> it revealed quite a few things. Uh, yeah. A lot of the pitting is more widespread than I knew uh, before. This, it's all along the barrel. Um, it's all through the cylinder, but I, I knew that there was a bunch on the cylinder. Um, and on the frame. Now, there's a lot more on the frame than I thought there was. A lot of this was hidden. Um, but I think that all of it is not all that deep I think we're still going to proceed with the build and uh, keep going um, there's the hammer it's got some um, all, all over it I did get this little roller wheel freed up um, that rides on the on the mainspring when you cock the hammer back reduces friction on the spring and there is pitting on top of the spring that's got to I got to dress that so that hammer's got someplace smooth to roll on uh trigger's got pitting the bolt has pitting the mains the trigger spring trigger bolt spring has pitting the loading rod it's not that bad this side is not that bad at all this side's got some This isn't bad. So now it's on to sandpaper. This is 400 grit sandpaper. And what I'll do is I'll take these pieces, put the sandpaper down, <clears throat> excuse me, and just start doing circles. And you know, yeah, I've said this before, I'll start with 400 grit and I'll finish up at about 800 grit. Should be smooth enough, polished enough to where I, when I blew it, it should come out with a nice finish. See, even just that little bit right there has taken a lot of that out. And that's what I'll be doing for the next few days when I'm not doing other things. When I have time, I'll be doing this. But uh, yeah, that's, that's what's in my nearest future. Uh, just polishing out a lot of this pitting. Fun times. Uh, on the barrel, what I'll do is I'll lock that in the vise. And I'll take something like this wire brush. And just wrap the sandpaper around it. Something like that. And this will be locked in the, in the vise. And that gives me a nice flat area to work back and forth. And work the pitting on and I'm not going to take a ton of, of material off of here uh, some of this pitting I'm not is not going to come out it, it's permanent and that's okay the, I'm not looking for you know a showpiece gun out of this because it's just it's not a showpiece gun this stuff over here all this crap 
uh, they came out of the frame. Came out of this recess right here where the hand rides. And it was so packed full. This isn't even all of it. Some of, some of it's on the floor. Um, but it, I, I, I got in here with a pick and I just started digging. Yeah, hell, there might, I might still get some. Just started digging and it just kept coming out. Yeah, see, there's a little bit there. I still don't have it all the way clean. But that's what I'll be doing is I'll be working on this and uh, getting it back to where it needs. Oh, oh, the brass. The brass came out of the solvent and I got all the dirt off of it. And it's it still has a nice, there was a nice patina under all that dirt. Um, again, with the stainless steel wire brush, hot water, got in here and just cleaned it up. Took all that black crap off of there. It looks nice. It looks good. Um, call it tarnish, call it patina, call it whatever. But uh, it has a nice aged brass glow to it, antique brass. And this is what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, got all that black crap off there. And while I'm waiting on parts, I haven't ordered them yet, but while I'm waiting on parts, I can sit and work on this. In fact, I've got a lot to do. Um, once I get this cleaned up, get the pitting under control, I guess you could call it. Um, I could go ahead, start rust bluing it. There's some things in here I really got to take care of before we go there. Um, but yeah, that is where we're going with this for now. 400 grit, 600 grit, 800 grit. A lot of sanding. Just thought I'd let you guys know. Talk to you later. See ya.